Hello from Tipco, I'm Jose Levegirre, and in this video, I'm going to show you the mod development lifecycle. Before we continue, I want to show you what is the, the, the mod that I'm going to be developing and walk you through different stages of the development process. This it's a different chart. There we have two measures on top indicating stock prices since the year 2000. I'm comparing Apple and Amazon. Sometimes Apple shares are um, higher than Amazon and sometimes it's the other way around. It's hard for me to visualize just by looking at this top graph when one was higher than the other. It, it requires a little bit more thinking, but here in the different chart, I can immediately spot when one stock was higher than the other one in, in certain areas. Okay, let me walk you through the development life cycle. It consists in three steps. The first step is to find code. You can either have something in mind that you want to create. For example, I already knew that I want a difference chart or you can just browse existing code from many different JavaScript libraries. I have CodePen, eCharts, many others that we are going to be looking at just to give you a feel on how do I perform searches. Then the next step is to prepare for development. Preparing for development means that you have to have everything ready by downloading a blank template from Tico GitHub and then compiling, downloading all the dependencies and connecting this live server for Visual, from Visual Studio Code with, um, with the Spotfire. Once you have that connection ready, you can start coding, which is the third step. When we start coding, we are going to uh, replicate the code that we found exactly the same. We're going to replicate that code and see if the environment, if the Spotfire environment accepts it and it, it, it works, uh, it, it works the, the, the way as expected. And then we're going to start configuring the axis by switching the mod manifest and connect the data. We're going to replace the hard coded data that we uh, did at the first step by replicating the code with real data, underlying data. And then we're going to save and share our work for anyone in the, in the uh, organizations to use. This is by no means a complete mod development. It lacks functionality such as marking or using the color axis. I'm not going to sign this mod to share outside of the, of the organization, but uh, it's just for you to get a feel on how the development process of a mod looks like. Mm -hmm. 